It's not an energy drink. It's not a sugary drink for your kid. It's actually a probiotic drink for your tank. This is a bacteria in a bottle product, but Ken, there's lots of bacteria in bottle products on the market. Why is this one different? Uh, one really noticeable difference is that it is uh, anaerobic and so lives deep in the sand bed or deep within a, a porous biomedium. Okay. Uh, while in an anaerobic environment, it's capable of performing photosynthesis. Interestingly enough, it can't photosynthesize uh, in the presence of oxygen. Okay. Uh, while it's in an anaerobic environment, it can also perform denitrification. So this can drop the nitrates in your tank. Yeah, so they assimilate uh, ammonia and nitrite and nitrate like any other heterotrophic bacteria. Okay. Uh, but because they can additionally perform denitrification, uh, they can actually use more nitrate than they need to grow. So they're gonna consume your nitrates, drop your nitrates. I'm guessing this is good coral food as well? Absolutely, and it's uh, actually a type of bacteria that coral consume in the wild. So we're feeding natural bacteria by bombing my tank with this. Yeah, and one uh, thing that people don't realize is the primary uh, component of a coral's planktonic diet is actually bacterioplankton, okay. not phytoplankton or zooplankton. Ah, yeah. that's what this is. It's, uh, yeah, so they swim in the water column. Even though they're anaerobic, uh, the daughter cells, the young ones, are actually flagellated and swim around where they can get grazed by corals and uh, actually exported by the protein skimmer as well, so they're a nice means of nutrient export. So it sounds in a way like it's carbon dosing, had those bacteria eat up the nutrients and you export them. You certainly could, and they do eat uh, so acetate, so vinegar would be an excellent carbon source to add. Sure. However, one of the nice things about these bacteria is that they're capable of degrading uh, polyphenols and cellulose and things that other bacteria cannot. Right. So even without carbon dosing, they'll uh, reduce your detritus, uh, clarify your water, using those compounds as a, a carbon source, okay. in so doing sequestering uh, nitrogen and phosphorus, and then presumably being exported through your skimmer. Do I dose this on a dosing pump, manually dose it, either or? Uh, it's impossible to overdose, so there's really? no real need to put it on a doser. You just certainly could, in. but just throw it in like you would phytoplankton. And every day, every other day, what's the protocol? Uh, usually, um, the best thing to do is to add it uh, consistently, so about 1.25 mils per gallon. Okay. But uh, it's nice that it isn't, uh, you can't overdose, so it's very safe. That's a food that instead of polluting the water, will actually improve your water quality. Okay. Because I'm not a huge fan of feeding corals because we're just dumping nutrients into the tank and most people have a nutrient problem with their tank, but this can feed my corals naturally and help clean up the tank. Yeah, uh, over 70% uh, protein, uh, loaded with carotenoids as you can see, hence its color, uh, fatty acids, yeah. so it's incredibly nutritious and it acts as a probiotic. So here you have a natural live food that's incredibly nutritious and again, we'll actually uh, remove nutrients from the water, so it's kind of a win-win. So you look like a healthy guy. Is this part of your regular diet? <laughs> uh, you'll find some of those organisms in human probiotics, and uh, inadvertently, I probably consume more than I should, but I'm still standing. You're still standing, right? <laughs> okay, now I've got a 1,500-gallon reef tank at home. I'm gonna need a lot of this stuff. Is this the only size that comes in? Well, that one bottle will treat uh, up to 400 gallons. Okay. But if you were looking for like large volumes, you might want to opt for the PNS Home Grow kit. Home Grow, I can grow this at home. Yes, with much much lights, like phytoplankton. Aeration is it that hard? It's very easy. In fact, you don't even need aeration. Uh, you just because they're anaerobic, you yeah. just seal them with the uh, growth medium. Yeah. And wait 30 days. That's it. Yep. And then uh, one collapsible cube like this, which comes it comes with a spigot. Yeah. So that you can dispense it easily and uh, treats 8,000 gallons. There you go, now we're talking. So once it's grown, how long is it good in this container? Uh, from the day you grow it, probably eight months. So okay. they say, that's a conservative. So I can grow it and actually kind of store it. I don't have to refrigerate it once it's done? Oh, absolutely not. Room temperature is just fine. Just So I uh, grow it, put a dosing pump in there if I want, or just pour it off and I'm done? Mm -hmm. On any one of these bacteria types? Exactly. Uh, That's it. You, you can store it on light. It might extend the 
shelf life a little bit. Okay. But, but so uh, no otherwise, aeration, no heating, room temp's fine. Yeah, just like that for maybe Dude, even a year. That's like super simple. Why wouldn't you do that? Well, they have for decades in the aquaculture industry. Okay. And fish farms across Asia. And so aquaculture is familiar with this. Now you're bringing it to us coral guys. Mm-hmm. Ah. Yeah. All right. I want to try one of these home grow kits, and I want to try the bacteria. If my whole tank crashes, I know where you live. <laughs> Thanks for talking to me. This sounds great. Fantastic work.